5.40 and it's the first day of rush. <laughs> too early for there to even be light but when the sun does come out it's gonna be nice Hey guys, before we get into my 2022 rush vlog, I'm so excited for y'all to see it. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Walmart. They have such great pieces for college apartments and dorms. And I want to show y'all some of the stuff that I got to make my apartment super comfy cozy. Just make it relaxing, especially during this busy week, being able to come home to a space that looks good and that I know is filled with things that I got for an affordable price at Walmart. So here's my little relaxing routine, all stuff from Walmart. First item, this little petal. I'm going to make some tea right now. Okay, now that we have my tea, I'm over in my cute little living room. I added some things from Walmart that make it look so cute. Love this pillow. It also comes in other neutral colors and different sizes. And then this blanket is like my favorite thing ever. It's so soft. And then I have this little essential oils diffuser. Super easy, it immediately makes it smell good. Okay, this is actually the coolest thing. I got a little skincare fridge. it thank you again to walmart for sponsoring this video everything will be linked down below and now let's get into my rush week my rush vlog i'm audrey if you're new here i go to the university of texas austin i'm going to be a junior so that means i've this is my third rush vlog first one i was going through it second one i was on the other side and this will be my second year being on the other side but this year is still different because it's all in person except for open house which I'll explain but um, it's all in person which means I'm really nervous I've been here for like two weeks and for like a week and a half we've been prepping which is called like polish week work week but today is the actual day of recruitment yesterday we had a break because it was open house and for this year open house was still online so they submitted videos we submitted videos and we just watched each other's videos in order to like decide like the PMs decided if they wanted us we decided if they wanted them kind of thing so there's like two lists and if you want each other then you match up so the people that matched up with us today are coming back for philanthropy round and philanthropy round is two days so it's today and tomorrow there's a total of 20 parties which is a lot but i don't think we're matched to all of them i think we get like one or two parties off as a break it's seven o'clock right now i woke up super early so i could like film and just kind of wake up um and just take it slow i have to be there at 8 15 so in an hour and then we have a lunch break at one which is the thing that i'm most worried about and that's like not my sort of decision that's just like how the schedule works but one is like really late for lunch i feel like but um i just ate a breakfast and then i'm gonna also just pack some snacks i have my outfit right over here but first i'm gonna walk downstairs to go to the gas station to get an energy tea because i definitely need that this morning and i don't want to go walk in my clothes yet because i'm scared i'm gonna like mess them up so i'm just gonna put on like random clothes we're gonna start the week off great i am just waiting to see the list of who i'm matched with because i'm like actually getting really excited to talk to girls even though it's literally the most nerve-wracking thing ever <laughs> here's the fit it's really not great, but it really doesn't have to be. Okay, got my yerba mate. Too nervous to open it right now because the party list just went out and I'm still putting on my jewelry. I think I don't love my necklace set that I have on, but 
it'll have to do for right now. I'm wearing these earrings from American Threads. And then this necklace is from By Nuke. This is from Hey Harper. And this is from Madewell. And I really like how my makeup turned out today. Ouch, 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 ouch. This ear is like definitely infected. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna look at the party list. I'm gonna like write down all the girls that I'm talking to, all the parties I'm talking to, so I just know. And I'm gonna sip on this while I do that. And then I'm gonna make some TikToks, and then I'm gonna leave. Oh, this is my outfit. Completely forgot to show y'all. They gave us this shirt, and then we're wearing white jeans as a chapter. These are from Zara. Everyone else is wearing heels, but I'm wearing sandals because if you've watched some of my last vlogs, I basically like stress fractured my ankle a while, a while ago, and then I re-stress fractured it. So the past like two weeks I've been in a boot and I really don't wanna wear a boot for recruitment, but my foot still kinda hurts, so I'm not wearing heels yet. I might wear heels for Sisterhood and Pref just because I really want to, but philanthropy, because we have these jeans on, I feel like wearing sandals like is fine, like it's not that noticeable. So I'm gonna wear sandals for the next two days. Hopefully like it'll just feel a little bit better and then Sisterhood and Pref, I'm just gonna kill my foot I don't know you'll see though because it'll be in the vlog okay I'm gonna get situated I'll check back in with you right before I leave okay I'm going down I'm running a tiny tiny bit behind to be literally like 60 seconds behind because I was filming TikToks and I couldn't find the lip gloss that I wanted to bring I'm talking to like six girls I think today so very exciting I'm at the house I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to show you but um I am re-downloading the philanthropy video i did the philanthropy video and the sisterhood video that we show and it's really cute but i just had to make like a tiny edit last night and so i'm just putting that and then it like shows on this tv right here um people are gonna start getting here soon i'm really getting nervous excited all the stuff okay we're just waiting for first party to start we got here like literally almost two hours before before um and i really want to take pictures but there's no one to take pictures of us so <laughs> we're just yeah. waiting okay i'm on my lunch break and guys i'm not doing great in many different ways i'm changing out of my outfit just for the next literally 45 minutes but i don't know what's going on i I'm not feeling good. I just feel like I ate breakfast, but I'm definitely dehydrated and hungry and just like I was feeling a little lightheaded at some point, which like isn't great. I really don't want to be negative, but I'm also just trying to keep it real with y'all. I did not have it. It literally goes by so fast. So we started our first party. This is like also crooked, I think, I'm sorry. Immediately, it's like 15 minutes after 15 minutes. Like I barely had time to go to the bathroom, let alone drink water, which is just stressful. I'm gonna eat yogurt while I'm talking to you. You're screaming these chants and like you can probably hear it in my voice. And I just also like was not feeling well. So I'm like not having the best conversations, which I do remember it happened last year where like I just needed some time to warm up but it almost it's just like I don't have the time to have time to warm up like the first few girls I talk to like I just want to make a really good impression on and I just like have to be at my best for every single party and I just like wasn't for literally any of them so I'm just trying to completely regroup um, I'm gonna eat a ton of food in the next like 45 minutes i'm only talking i'm talking to two more girls after lunch it's long it's tiring but i think everyone else is doing good i just like literally i mean i don't know how many times i have to say i'm just not doing my best i just ate a yogurt and then i just made impossible chicken nuggets which are like my new favorite thing because i used to love little nuggets like this but then i got kind of freaked out about the chickens so the impossible nuggets are a perfect solution all right i'm back in my outfit a few things that i forgot this morning my pin i also forgot to take my vitamins which may also have to do with how i'm feeling so going to take those as well okay that's so hard to put on i cannot put that on in camera and i'm taking advil because my foot is feeling good but it could be better i feel like i'm gonna go back with a different mindset regrouped 
I have some food in me, so once that digests, I really hope I have more energy. Okay, I'm back. Um, the last few parties were better. I was feeling better, but now I'm like honestly feeling worse, but in better in a better in a different way, worse in another way. So like I'm not feeling like faint anymore, but now I am feeling like run down. Like our two party breaks were at the end of the, end of the day, which is like such a blessing because we basically have like a long night. Like we got out at 5.45, six-ish. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's 6.12 right now. So I'm just gonna try to hydrate. I'm just gonna watch TV. Like I'm literally just gonna relax all night tonight. So yeah, I'll probably film tomorrow. Obviously I'm feeling a little drained and my social battery is at zero. <laughs> Good morning. It is philanthropy day Two. I am not feeling great. I hope you can't hear it in my voice, but I think you can a little bit. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get tea. I'm just losing my voice a little. I think I also am a little congested and so I have like drainage. I really think it's just like my body being worn down. Like the issue is for work week. I also didn't get a lot of sleep at all because I was like working on a bunch of videos for my sorority and also for just like myself so i'm ordering a honey citrus mint tea which is like the medicine bowl at starbucks i think also like this is the first time i've been talking this morning so it's gonna warm up there is six parties and i match for five of them so i'm talking to five girls today yesterday i feel like i wasn't doing great but i also was like just had a lot more going on mentally versus today i'm kind of struggling physically not mentally so Maybe I'll have better conversations today. Today, our lunch break is at 12 instead of 1. Thank goodness, because I was, like, absolutely dead by 1 yesterday. And then we should be done by 4, which is also just another, like, amazing, amazing thing. Hello! It is lunch break, and I haven't picked up the camera since this morning. I thought I was going to, but I just haven't. We only have three parties left, which I'm super excited about. We had four this morning. I feel much better than yesterday, again, mentally. Like, I was having a way better day. Honestly, yesterday was kind of worse, but in a different way, and I think it's because my day quill has been really hitting in. But yesterday, I just, like, felt faint all the time. I think I was just really dehydrated yesterday, and so now... I feel refreshed. I had a good night's sleep. That's all. We're almost done with philanthropy. I did talk to a girl today that was obviously going to another house, but she was nice about it. It's just sometimes that happens and it's like, okay, stop dropping hints. Let's just, I don't know. We just talk and it's fine, but it is kind of like funny when that happens. But I also talked to some really good girls today that I really like and could see in my sorority. Going back and we have three more parties and then we're done at like four. I think we can leave the house. Hey guys, long day that I didn't really vlog. I'm going to give you a recap right now. I loved the girls that I talked to the second half. I think both of them were in the second half. I found two girls that I absolutely, like, I absolutely love them. And I really hope that they go AKO. Like, I think they would be perfect in my sorority. And I'm just, I've been thinking about them all night. I loved my conversations with them. It's 11.15. I didn't think it was that late. I literally have, like... I makeup remover in my eye which is why I'm like being weird now this is rush content I've showered I've shaved I've regrouped ready to wear a dress tomorrow which I still don't know exactly which one I'm wearing tomorrow but my preference dress came in and you're probably wondering why don't you have your dress yet which is so valid so true basically all of our dresses are due like pretty far in advance and like we have to get them checked and I have a green dress and I really don't like it I got this dress from Hello Molly and I'm really scared that it's not gonna be cute or it's not gonna fit oh my gosh it is already a million times better than my other one it's this little strapless let me show you my other one I hope this fits I wasn't expecting it to be velvet it doesn't fit right it's not cute, it's not me. So I ordered this one last minute and it literally came two days before I'm supposed to wear it, which works. Technically I do have to get this approved, but I might not. I'm probably just gonna show up in this. I know it's right. I know it looks way better than this one. Like even just like this looks way higher end. This looks horrible. Like I just really don't like this dress. My dress situation is bad. It's bad for every single round because I've been so busy this summer and I just haven't, I don't have my stuff together so for tomorrow i ordered this one does not fit me still need to return it it's like a romper situation literally gives me a wedgie not it 
This is for sisterhood. Green is for preference. Pink is for sisterhood. So then I borrowed this dress from Catherine, which is super cute. Love it. But it is so tight and so short that I'm like, I don't know. Tomorrow's like our longest day. It's from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So I also have this dress, which I actually wore my freshman year of recruitment. But it's not as, like, fun as Catherine's dress. I think I'm going to start the day off with this. And if it's really uncomfortable, I'll change into this. Um, but, yeah. That's my thought process. I'm too scared to try on the green dress, but I'm going to do it for y'all. Okay, here's the thing. It is, like, so gorgeous. Not sure if it zips up in the back or if I just need help zipping it up. But I think it's going to be a little tight. I wish I would have gotten a medium. But I really, really love it i just need someone else to zip it up for me hopefully so yeah feeling really much more better about this so i'm going to sleep i took a night quill i'm gonna knock out i'll see y'all tomorrow good morning guys it is day one of sisterhood the only day i like completely did my makeup all backwards for some reason i forgot to put on concealer so it's already starting off great I still feel a little sick. It's a little different sick than yesterday, but not worse. It's just like my nose is more runny than congested now. Again, I think it's just because I'm like super run down. A lot of people are getting sick and apparently this happens every year. Let me talk about sisterhood a little bit. So yesterday, the P&Ms had up to 10 houses. Now every P&M gets like every single house back. Basically, we have to choose them and they have to choose us. And if they didn't choose us, then we don't talk to them. And then if we didn't choose them, we don't talk to them. So it has to be like mutual selection. Yesterday, they could have up to 10 houses. And then today, they can have up to 6 houses. Sisterhood for me, when I rushed, that was when I got the most cuts. I got dropped by 2 houses. Um, isn't like a ton compared to other people, but it was like the 2 houses that I like thought I wanted. So today is like a rough day honestly for the girls like I feel like I don't know what I'm saying they're gonna be fine but I just like note that this morning is probably maybe not the best because I feel like everyone's a little disappointed when they see sisterhood based on like what I've heard from other people but sisterhood is my favorite round because we talk about like literally just everything that we do together all of the sisterhood events that we do I can talk about living in the house like it's just like a storytelling day and like telling them how much like you love each other and like how great my sorority is and like the community and stuff and so i am super super excited i'm also gonna try to wear heels today and hopefully my foot doesn't hurt too much guys look at what is on my window it's like a fat bug of some sort that thing is so creepy i'm gonna make some breakfast and look at the list i'm really nervous sam told me i'm talking to one of her favorite girls and i really hope my girls are back i'm kind of scared you never know if they're gonna choose us let's look at the list first i'm gonna look up the girl see who she's talking to and if she's even back oh okay okay she's back okay i'm excited about that okay let me look up the other girl all right both of the girls i want are back okay here is the dress i really like it it's not as tight here as i thought it would be it is a little short i think it's cute i decided to just wear one necklace which is so not like me, but I feel like there's like so much going on at the top of this dress. That thing is still on my window. I can't even. <laughs> I'm going to wear these heels, but I'm just going to pack them in a bag and walk over. It's literally like starting to rain, so I'm going to put like a rain jacket on. Honestly, maybe even sweatpants. Here's my outfit. I'm a little stressed. I don't, I like, I'm just getting those nerves. I also don't love my hair, but I'm hoping, everyone hope that it'll like fall really pretty today so sisterhood round day one Woo! here i am completely covered up sisterhood no i'm not going to rush look i'm actually vlogging at the house super exciting i'm gonna show y'all the sisterhood decorations so cute we're all taking pictures right now it's so cute Y'all look stunning. 
so we have party three off. We've had two parties. Super fun. Definitely need to take another day quill. But we have to be here till 12.15 and then I get to go back to my apartment. Klein, how are you doing? I'm good. Just fixed my dress. She broke a little bit, but oh. we're on the come up. I'm talking to so many California girls. Mm. Well, I've only talked to four girls today, but <laughs> three of them have so been from California. Many California, many California girls. Three out of four. That is a lot. Okay, back from lunch, we just finished our fourth party, and now we have two off. So I like put sweatshirts and t-shirt back over my dress. Um, I'm having a good day. I'm definitely feeling a little worn down and tired, so I think I'm gonna take a little nap. We can't leave the house, but I'm just in Klein and Catherine's room. It looks like my old room because I have the same prints. I like never dress that. But yeah, I think I might take a little nap on the floor. I'm like loving the conversations, and I'm feeling like good again, good mentally, physically not amazing. <laughs> Okay, I'm on my dinner break. I know this vlog is a lot of me just talking, but I promise it'll get better like on bid day. That'll actually be fun. But right now, like my week's a lot of talking, so y'all are just hearing a lot of talking. I have no idea what I want. Nothing sounds good. I think I'm gonna make this truffle mac and cheese. I used to make these all the time in high school. Does anyone else just press the 30 seconds till you get to the right thing on an elevator because that's what I do. On a microwave, oh my god, I'm so, so out of it. I'm so tired, guys. I'm literally so tired. We only have two parties left, but we have to be the, at the house until 10.30. And it's only 5.45. But I, like, love the party part. Like, I'm feeling good in the party, and then as soon as the energy stops, I, like, I, like, come back down to reality, and I'm like, wait, I do not feel good, just because I'm just so tired, and my throat, like, I've been talking so much, my throat is, like, just not doing well, just not doing great, so I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna take another day quill, and we're gonna get through it. We are gonna get through it. We applied my makeup a little bit, just some touches, and I recurled these front pieces. I'm gonna walk back. We actually have the next party off, so we're gonna do another, like, chill upstairs i'm probably gonna work on some emails gonna go love y'all okay we're going down for the last two parties Woo! let's I'm get her excited yeah. um i'm stripping in front of me <laughs> no you can't see it i wasn't recording that whole time Just do it again guys it's 10 26 we get to leave at 10 30. four minutes only real time. strong women can wait this long <laughs> Mine is doing the Instagram post. It's very stressful. Well, we're all a little. So she works hard. so hard. It she is works so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't been doing anything for the past like almost two hours. We just have to like wait for the pianos yeah, to be to home or home. something. Anyways, I'm going home. I'm going to sleep. I loved a lot of girls that I talked to today and tomorrow's preference. And I'm really nervous to see who comes back. Okay, prep party just came out. I'm obviously not doing it, but I'm still, oh my gosh. I am still dying to see who we have back. <coughs> it says that like the Google sheet is literally crashing. It literally won't even let me like scroll. I don't know why they have me on here. <laughs> okay, I match, but to a girl that I am happy that's back, but I'm sad <coughs> because I like cannot go. It's so hard because I can't like search. Okay, I don't think one of my girls is back. Honestly, two of them that I wanted. But it's hard to tell because this is like glitching out. I don't think we have them. Okay, good news. I just took a COVID test and it is negative. Me like beauty curing my covid test <laughs> i like had a feeling that i didn't have covid because a lot of people are just getting this like one day cold but i for sure don't have it I'm hoping that tomorrow i wake up really good so that tomorrow night i can go to bed day and see everyone and like feel good okay i'm going to sleep i like go in waves i feel better and then i feel worse i am like really sad that i missed day one because i was supposed to be talking to like a bunch of girls that i really love two people are still at the house basically we had to get there at like three ish today and then we can't leave till midnight because that's when like all the PMs will be back. So Prev ended like an hour ago, I think, and everyone like they it's a tradition to have a dance party and like everyone's just hanging out at the house. We're done with recruitment. And so I am like kind of sad that I'm missing that, but also like I literally would have died today if I had to be at the house from three to twelve. So it was for the best and I'd rather 
like have a chance to go to bed day tomorrow. So I'm missing bed day, which is really sad. <laughs> but I'm really, really sick. I it's like 5 p.m. now, but it, which is like the day is like happening right now, or like they're about to get their bids. I woke up with 101 fever. Um, I still don't feel good. I've literally been sleeping all day. I'm really sad for like multiple reasons. One, I was super excited for bid day, obviously. Two, like I can't finish this vlog. First day of school is tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna be good for the first day of school. And I just feel like I got sick at like literally the most inconvenient time. So yeah, I'm just gonna live vicariously through everyone's like social media posts. And I just know there's no way that I could have like gone out tonight. Basically, our plan for bid day was we meet at the house, they run home with their bids, it's super cute, and then we were going to go to a venue, or they are still going, I'm not going. They're going to go to a venue which is like near the Capitol, which is super cute, starting at like seven, six or seven. Then they eat there, kind of play games, stuff like that, like it's just like everyone's socializing. Then we come back to the house at 11 and we have like a little ice cream social till 12 because we can't release them till midnight. We're not supposed to drink like this whole time. It's been dry week. So they keep us there till midnight just for like liability reasons. So yeah, it's another long night that I obviously would not have been able to do. And I just like, I can barely get out of bed. So bed days are not happening for me this year. So yeah. That was my recruitment vlog. I know it like wasn't much because I only did two of the rounds. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope it, you still enjoyed like this little vlog from me, even if it wasn't like your typical recruitment bid day. I love you all so much. Go follow me on Instagram if you want. Subscribe. I love you all. And I will see you in my next video. Hopefully feeling better. You can see like girls running home. Which is so cute. There's literally like, they're blowing stuff up. Sometimes when I take things in your vlogs, like I'm like, am I ruining them or making them no, better? No, please make them better. <laughs>